Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a completely new show and this is Eden Zero. Now a little bit of background. Uh, Eden Zero I know it's made by Hiro Mashima, uh, the author of Fairy Tale. I watched Fairy Tale. Uh, it's ended and I think like the, the, when I heard that uh, Hiro Mashima start is starting a new manga which is called Eden Zero, I knew it was eventually going to get an anime. So I did not start the manga and here we are like the anime is out and i was waiting for uh, like this to start and as far as i've seen from uh, a lot of people talking about it i think eden's zero uh, like a lot of people are saying this that eden zero has uh, like a more interesting story than fairy tale and i'm quite curious as to like uh, you know why people are saying that because as far as i could say like uh, fairy tale i really liked fairy tale uh, except the ending uh, the ending was something that i really did not like that much but as far as i know like they are continuing fairy tale it's called i think a hundred years quest or something i'm not sure but there's a manga that is ongoing so technically i guess that's not the ending if it's like continuing after that point so like i cannot say that the ending was bad like uh probably we're also going to get eventually the, the hundred years quest uh like as an anime i'm not sure but i hope so so yeah but i'm uh, like as, as far as i'm hearing like a lot of people are saying that this has a more interesting story than fairy tale which i'm looking forward to because i really liked fairy tale especially a lot of the arcs i really liked i loved edola's arc uh, like my top like my top arcs were Edelus arc and the Eclipse arc. I loved those two arcs so much and the whole time travel thing and everything like was so intriguing. I really loved it and uh, Like if this can surpass fairy tale, I'm looking forward to it really so yeah Like without further ado, uh, let's get started with this episode uh, the only uh, information I have is that the person who made fairy tale Hiro Mashima same person made this uh, like manga that's all like i'm really looking forward to what this is about so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number one of eden zero so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's a countdown three two one go Oh, what is this? Shooting star. Oh, that's a dragon, not a shooting star? Oh, this is the main character? Shiki, the robots with him. <laughs> that's his grandfather. Oh. Oh, th these are robots, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Friends. <laughs> okay. Michael. His name is Michael? Machines don't have hearts. Yeah, they're robots. Face. It's everything there. Oh. Fish. <laughs> Dogs. Cat. Oh. Mother? What? Someone who can grant any wish. Oh! <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Eden Zero. Alright, this is quite interesting. Like, there's like robots and everything. The Sakura Cosmos. Oh, what is this? 
Well, the visuals are quite nice. The voice. That's Happy's voice, isn't it? Rie Kugimia. What? Wait, what? Wait. This Lucy and Happy. What? Granville Kingdom. His name is Happy. What? His name is even Happy. What? Okay, a lot of things are happening at the same time. <laughs> okay, what is his her name? Is her name Lucy? Like what? Granville. Did they mention her name or I did not catch it? What? What is? Which is you? <laughs> what is this? Her name is Rebecca. <laughs> She's a YouTuber. We have happy with us and this girl is a YouTuber. What is like? Oh, oh my God. No, that's not a cat. That's a robot cat. Oh, damn. <laughs> Okay, Shiki and Rebecca. <laughs> is that Shiki? Or is that someone else? He looks like Gajil. Like, I'm talking about Shiki. <laughs> oh <laughs> Wait, he's scared of he's scared of bugs? <laughs> Can I eat it? <laughs> eat it. Oh. <laughs> she, he's like a feral beast. Oh, oh, he wants friends. Oh, I forgot. Like, yeah, yeah, he said that I, I want friends or something. His goal. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> okay this is okay so everyone are like each and every person is a robot here. Mitra. Taylor John. Whoa. So oh, he's the only human? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Let me decide. So no one came here for 100 years. Oh. Okay. <laughs> is, is that her camera? Oh yeah, it must be. Oh, who is that? Archer? Lord Gaston? What? Who is this? Like the king of the... Must be the king, you know? Grand Bell Kingdom? Oh, so like he's like the mechanic of this place. <coughs> Blue Garden. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I also don't. Silent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the? That's how he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's also true. <clears throat> mm, special. Then it's a the demon king. The, the machine who play oh, wait what? Oh, that guy. Oh, that rogue. Oh, okay. Rebecca bought, brought her laptop with her. Offline. What's happening? Um... What's happening here? Oh yeah, yeah, the cook. She cut her hair, uh, cut his hair. <laughs> Michael, my hair. What? Um, what's happening here? Oh, what the? Wait, the quarter? <laughs> yeah! Oh, is this the king? That we saw? <coughs> Lord Castle. Happy sleeping, what the hell? Waiting for a hundred years. Oh. Yeah, she brought a sheep. He's saying that he waited for a hundred years for this day. Yeah, wait a minute. Why why would you have to kill her for that? Like Oh my god. Oh damn, this guy is like changed overnight. Where's Michael? Oh, there. Wait, is the king somehow brainwashing them or something? Virus. Think for.
Oh, they're also like registering him as an enemy because he's a human. We are just what is the playing the roles we were assigned? You play the role of the mechanic. Oh my god, so So there's an automated system that fixes them. <clears throat> oh damn this guy <laughs> Battle bot. Oh. You didn't have a f oh wait a minute like I think these robots are being controlled because they were really like you know good to Shiki I don't think that was like fake or something I think the king is doing something like like controlling the other robots or something yeah like yeah i'm sure like they're being controlled somehow oh god Oh, what the hell? Damn, what is this? Oh! What the? So he has a, like... Like... His arm is like... The demon king gave you the power. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, like Rebecca is crying for him. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Oh, happy, happy woke up. What the hell, happy? Oh, what? What's that power? Oh, damn, he has a machine gun in his hand. Ether gear. Gear that takes his body's ether flow. Power from the dark ages. Okay. Damn, he's a... Whoa! <laughs> he has an, uh, quite an intriguing power, like... Oh! Gravity Fist! Damn! Oh! He wrecked the whole place! Damn, he... he... Yeah, he's flying! Gravity ether gear, oh! He's controlling the gravity, oh, that's why. Oh, damn, these guys are mad. <coughs> oh! 
Oh, damn. Oh, this is a really intriguing power. Like, he's controlling gravity too. Okay. Okay. That's an interesting power. I'll stay here. Yeah, like... I'm sure they've been controlled, you know? Oh, this is her ship. It looks like a fish. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's, it's flying. It's an airship or whatever you call them. Wait, what? Oh! This is... Sakura... Oh, this is... They, not, not a kingdom, it's a pla- They came from a completely different planet. Okay, okay, this is like a space travel story or... What do you call them? Science fiction? Like... Oh, what is that? Damn! Wow! Mechanical dragons! Okay, this is really interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Before Oh wait a minute, did they do this knowing everything? Oh they deliberately did that. They were acting. On the parcel. Damn. All boss on the plant camera. And oh god, this was the visuals are quite nice. Bark. Come on in this. 
like <coughs> emotional time. <coughs> Hundred friends. Wow. What will he bring upon? What the? What the hell? What is that? Wow, this was... This was amazing, the first episode, it really is something, oh my god. I really enjoyed this. This I I don't know what to say. Like uh, I remember Fairy Tale the, the first episode. It was good, but I think like like the execution of this episode of Eden Zero is a lot more impactful than I ever could have imagined. Like okay, let let's talk about this um <clears throat> episode. First of all, um the characters now. <laughs> <laughs> they look extremely similar to I think Shiki looks a lot like Gajil, you know, Gajil and Rogue a little bit, I'm guessing. And um obviously like Rebecca looks like Lucy and Happy looks like Happy. <laughs> they even took his name and the same voice actor of Happy. I, I recognized her like Rie Kugimiya, uh, the voice actor of Happy. And I cannot uh, properly tell if the voice actor of Lucy and Rebecca is the same, but obviously Natsu's voice actor is not Shiki's voice actor, that I could tell. But yeah, and <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about the setting. The setting is in space and that is really amazing. I love it. Uh, this, is, this will be like a completely new thing like we've been like slaying dragons, you know in fairy tales slaying dragons and doing magic This is like a space adventure. I'm guessing and this there's also dragons, but they're mechanical dragons and uh, I'm guessing we're going to see more mechanical stuff and everything and <laughs> Another thing that was really unique was that Rebecca is a youtuber <laughs> I don't know what they call it in in this show, but it's basically she's a youtuber and she wants what did she say a hundred followers or a hundred subscribers whatever <laughs> and if she does vlogging, I'm guessing like you know going to different places and like making videos out of them <laughs> that was something wow and um I, I did not expect that <laughs> like she's a youtuber. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, and um the characters that we met, uh first uh Shiki's grandfather and uh, it seems as if she like he is not here anymore. She must have he must have like you know stopped responding uh like like not died but like you know malfunctioned or something. And like she could try to uh, repair him but was unable to and one thing they were saying here I'm um, like kind of like repeating that thing is that we're playing the part you know they were saying that we're playing the part the guy who was the king or castellan as they said uh, <clears throat> he was not the king he was just playing the part of a king I'm guessing and uh, Shiki was also kind of playing a part of a mechanic and um i don't know like like obviously there must be some kind of a reason why there are so many you know robots in the same place and some kind of a backstory which i'm sure we'll get later on but uh and also like shiki's backstory as well i'm sure we'll get them later on but uh like the setting is that there are like so many robots here they they they're like uh, this this planet was like as like rebecca said later on it's like a theme park so like they were like playing parts you no know, not playing roles uh, of like a king their subjects someone was a tailor someone was uh, like what did they like say like uh, different types of like roles they had like someone was like who was a bartender i'm guessing and shiki was kind of acting as a mechanic <clears throat> and um 
yeah like this was basically it so i'm guessing like they said that there were humans with them before so i'm guessing like humans were with them lived together with them and like other people from other plants used to come here as a you know like just like a theme park they used to like you know like uh, interact with all of these characters and they used to play their parts you know the king of a castle uh, the tailor the bartender they used to play as their own parts and people used to have fun here from other different planets they used to come but like when people stopped coming, the uh, the other people, the other humans who used to live with them, uh, like they went away. I'm guessing, leaving them with without even like dismantling them, as they said. And they've been like staying here for so long. And I'm guessing the demon king was also playing a part, which is like Shiki's grandfather, like you know, a part of a demon king. Yeah, they kind of mentioned it as far as I can remember. Like he was not a demon king; he was just playing the part of a demon king. So. <clears throat> Like, as I said, like, it, it's just like a theme park. So, uh, yeah. And then, like, uh, so the Demon King, he must have, like, known that we, the, as I said, that we do not have much time. Uh, we'll be, exp like, you know, we'll expire. But they were concerned about Shiki as to, like, what is he going to do if, like, uh, they expire while he's still here? You he won't be able to go away from this place. And, you know, he'll be stuck in this place so like the demon king said to the king i'm guessing the castle and or what whatever they called him um that you know like uh, if you find a chance if you find an opportunity be sure to push shiki out of this place so that he can explore the world uh, explore the space universe not world <laughs> explore the explore the universe so and he says something that he will like change the universe or something he's a uh, boy and then um <clears throat> so these guys like when they saw rebecca come in they thought that oh this is our chance we will use like we'll like like you know play a part of a uh, like you know a small little uh, play a small little skit we will do and a small little drama we're going to do and we're going to it, it, like it's it will be like uh we do not uh, like we have like you know uh tricked him for all of these years we'll act as the bad guys and push him out of this place so that he can go outside and explore the universe because otherwise like i'm sure like if they said to him that shiki like you should go and like you know leave us behind like you do not need to stay here you live your own life he wouldn't have listened so that's why they like took this step and like i at the beginning i was thinking like maybe like you know like the king was like controlling them or something like brainwashing them or something because as far as i can see uh, all the other like you know towns people even michael they were good friends with shiki so suddenly like them like acting like that i was not buying it but turns out uh, the king was also not you know like was not brainwashing them it was like they were like doing a play they were like uh, acting their part to make Shiki go out of this place, go out of this world, go out of uh, Grandel. So that was sad, you know, when like, uh, like when like I realized that, like, they they were not doing anything, like you know, they, everything was an act just to get him out of this place. And it was really like sad, like how they like like broke down one after the other and like it's like written that all the um what uh, all the machine like what was written all of the machines in this place has like shut down or something it was written and they all like fell down and michael said that uh like, like i shouldn't have had a heart if like if it was so uh, painful, if like farewell was so plain, uh, painful, I wish I did not have a heart. Damn. And then like, um, and then come, and then like we see one of the most, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I, I was expecting like this is going to be like, you know, like in the first episode of Fairy Tale, how like, you know, they started, like they went to Fairy Tale, the guild uh, in a ship. I think it's going to be something like that, you know, uh, not a ship. Sorry, if I forgot, like I'm mixing things up, uh, like, you know, Natsu took Lucy to the guilt. I'm, I was thinking like, like a similar thing was happening, you know, like, uh, like Shiki is like living here and Rebecca came from somewhere else. Like uh, in fairy tale, like Natsu, like, you know, pulled Lucy and said that, come on, like, let's go to our guild. 
but in this at like in this show is the opposite happened like rebecca pulled shiki's hand and said that let's go so it was kind of going in the same direction but then like when the ship started to fly uh i still did not like suspect anything when they came like when they went out of the like into the space i was like what the hell like they were not talking about the grand bell king i was thinking they were going to like uh, the, the kingdom's name was grand bell and they were going to you know like travel the whole world like some other kingdom they were going to go and everything turns out the whole planet was called grand bell wasn't it as far as i can remember and like they <laughs> they're going to travel the space which is a really like amazing surprise i got and i really was not expecting that and like and they're going to like uh f like go to different planets and everything and uh, the visuals are quite nice i can see like it's very bright i like that like i i love like you know bright colors and everything and uh the pl the place is called uh like okay like they're saying that the, the place there now are called is called sakura cosmos so we can see like sakura petals like flowing around and she, rebecca, rebecca also said that there are different cosmoses too so there'll be i'm guessing a different types of cosmos this is like sakura cosmos maybe there'll be i don't know some other type of cosmos like with something else so cosmoses are like i'm guessing like small little uh, parts of the universe you know and uh yeah and they're going to travel into different planets that's really like interesting and in the end like i don't know what that was like oh well, and then another interesting thing is like when we saw the dragon like i like uh, she said that it was is that a comet and they said that, no it's not a comet it's a dragon and then dra dragon turned out to be like a huge mechanical you know thing and like uh then like then we see a huge like the dragon itself was huge you know and then we see even a bigger person i don't know if that's a person or something a lady like le let me just check that portion again a lady like she's like sitting on i don't know what that was like some kind of like a space like debris or something like it's huge and she's sitting there and like saying that like now your adventure begins or something I don't know who that was but <laughs> like it's interesting so so i'm guessing like the dragon was so small compared to her so i'm guessing the uh, ship in which like shiki and like rebecca are uh, compared to this lady it will be like this little like you know little bug in the size of a little bug it will be wow i and also another thing i have to talk about here is like the the power gravity uh ether they said i think ether yeah i think so like uh, gravity like what did they actually call it like i cannot remember gravity just a sec let me just try to find it like um just a sec guys it's called like he's using gravity but I don't know like I, I'm going to like I'm sure we'll get uh, like I cannot find it now like this is like um, it's going to take too much time if I try to like find it now but anyways it's something related to gravity and I'm guessing that's like a thing that he has uh, and this kind of said that it's like uh, some kind of you know uh, thing from the dark ages or something he's, they said or I, I cannot remember but like it's something special most probably something special like which uh, shiki has in his hand and it's interesting like this is like gravity power gravity power yeah this is like a really interesting um power i'm thinking like, you can do a lot of things with this like the gravity like in like in fairy tale it was like fire magic like you know wind magic stuff like that it's fairly like simple but this is gravity magic like like how shiki used it like you know d d reduce the gravity of a certain direction to like rush to that place and this has some really i'm guessing interesting uh, like uh, applications he will be able to use it so i'm looking forward to what they're going to do with this power you know and uh, like he can also fly that means you know like gravity power so yeah that was a really interesting first episode i have to say like i was not expecting something like this like this completely like is a very solid first episode 
and yeah i'm really intrigued as to like the whole space travel i'm guessing they're going to travel in space and so this is like this does not have any magic that means it's, like technically i'm guessing they have magic because they kind of like mentioned ether or something like those are like the main like raw materials but they're not going to probably use magic they're going to like use technology i'm guessing to do stuff here so that's really interesting you know and it's like a science fiction like uh space traveling story so yeah and like shiki's goal here is to make a hundred friends <laughs> okay and uh, <clears throat> in fairy tale i think natsu's goal was probably to find igni wasn't it uh, in the beginning so like and like shiki's goal here is to make hundred friends uh okay let's talk about the goals <laughs> First fairy tale. Fairy tale Nasu's goal was to become uh, like uh, you know to find Igneil. I'm guessing that was his goal, and like uh, Lucy's goal was to become a celestial ma mage or something, uh, like you know a strong celestial mage. Here, <laughs> Chiki's goal is to make hundred friends, and Rebecca's goal is to <laughs> make a hundred million like subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> wow okay that was really good okay so that was it guys that was the first episode of eden zero i really am interested in this i like totally am and i i think if they're able to use like use everything properly here you know like uh like the story if it's like said in a, like the foundation is extremely really strong they can do a lot of thing with this setting you know and i'm really looking forward to it i think that's why a lot of people said that this is like the story is even better than fairy tale uh the first episode was really interesting i really loved it and i think yeah the like the impact fate's first episode had and the impact that this uh like you know eden zero's first episode has i think eden zero like one in that department like this is like a solid first episode like it has a lot of things like emotions uh, and like the whole like suspense thing as to what that thing was in the end that lady like who was sitting and the whole space travel thing and mechanical dragons like gravity man like power and oh my god okay i'm really looking forward to the next episode so yeah guys that was it guys that was the first episode of eden zero so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i'll be putting out eden zero episode every week so definitely subscribe so that you can like get the notifications and comment down below anything you want to say uh, anything you want to share uh, about this like you know like uh, what's your impression about this is and i'll definitely be checking them out uh, my impression is this is a really good first episode i really liked it so yeah i'm looking forward to the uh, like upcoming episodes so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next week with another episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day